Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're taking a look at the Tokyo Flash Kasai Stencil Watch. Tokyo Flash makes some of the coolest watches you'll ever see. Many of them require actually scientific calculations for you to tell the time. Well, I chose one of the more simplistic designs, uh, the stencil, and it comes in a bunch of different color variations. I have the white right here with blue face. And I'll show you in a second. This is the box it comes in. It comes in like an outer presentation cardboard box and then an inner box here. And in addition to the watch, which I'll show you in a second, there really isn't much other than a warranty card and a set of instructions uh, on how to work the watch. And like I said, this is one of the um, easier watches to read. You don't have to do a lot of work like some of the other ones. Now, this one has a white leather band and I'm not sure if you can make it out or not, but the band is actually embossed with numbers. If I bring it up close on camera, there you go. You can see the numbers. Now I did find personally that it was a little short for my wrist. Uh, when I wore it, I, um, I was on like the second um, to last hole right here, which means that uh, it won't go through both of the loops there at the end. So here, if I put it on, I'll show you. I think I can do this little cam through the camera. Um, so if you have bigger wrists, I don't think I have huge wrists, but if you have bigger wrists, just keep that in mind um, that, you know, you might not get a perfect fit. So like for me, I'm wearing it on that, which means I can only get it through that one loop and this second loop here, um, which I guess I could cut off, but it's still just a tad short for my wrists. Again, this band is genuine leather and you can see it's stamped with that right here. Um, the cool thing about this watch face is it's always on, so you don't have to like press a button to activate it. Again, some of the other ones you do. It has a metal casing to it, and you can see right there, hopefully, a uh, small Kasai branding in the lower right-hand corner. Now, this uses like bubble-style characters to show you the time and the date, and then there are two buttons. Uh, the button at the top illuminates the display. It's a backlight, and I'll show you that in a second. And then the um, bottom one toggles between the time and date. So right now it's 8.50, um, if you can see. It uses the top two for the hour and the bottom two numbers for the minutes. So you can see a zero and an eight, if I bring it close, and then a five and a zero. So, you know, it, it takes a little bit of thought to read the watch, but... As I mentioned, it's not as difficult as some of the other ones. Now, if I press the button, it makes a beeping noise, and now it's switched over to the date. If I bring that in, you can see that it's 0319, or March 19th, when I'm filming this video. And then, um, if you leave it there, it will automatically toggle back to the time. Um, you can press it once to go back immediately if you want, um, but... Um, you don't have to do that. It goes right back to the time automatically. So if you press the button a second time, so once for the date, twice um, again, you're now at the alarm function. So this can um, be set to wake you up or remind you of something. You can see right now it says 12 o'clock and there is an AM PM indicator um, down on the bottom. Again, if you um, don't touch the display or touch the buttons, I should say, it will go right back to the time after um, a few seconds. But if I bring it in, you can see that that is the uh, time setting for the alarm. All right, I killed off the lights just so you can see the backlight. I don't know that you'll actually be able to read the time just the way this is set up, but maybe you can. But you can see it is um, the watch is actually much um, easier to read, I think, in the dark with the backlight illuminated. It's now 8.53. So I find that um, it is easier to read when it's darker than in direct light. But again, you, you have the ability to, to read this display in either light or dark. So that's been my brief look at the Tokyo Flash Kisai Stencil Watch. Again, remember, this comes in seven different styles. Um, they are all either black or white when it comes to the strap and then the colors. Uh, relate to the face but again seven different ones to choose from and these sell for 149 tokyo flash has a ton of watches to select from if you don't particularly like this one i urge you to go check out all the different watches that they have uh, on their site i also have a link in the video description in addition to the one for tokyo flash to my full review of this over on runaroundtech.com as always if you have any questions about this or anything else definitely drop me a line down below otherwise have a great day